Hello, and welcome back to Long Live the Queen! We are pressured now! <laughs> and, uh, we were looking at the skills a little bit before this. So we have a bonus to athletics, and we have a bonus to faith, and we were thinking... We still kinda want some sword skill, you know? Yeah. And, um... Probably some, some reflexes or something, or maybe naval strategy? Hmm... hard to do. Our reflexes are at 20 and our naval strategy is at 18. I feel like we're not gonna go on I feel like we're not gonna go at war immediately. Yeah, immediately out on the ocean, so, or at yeah, sea yet. That's true. So we could do reflexes right now. Let's do reflexes. Okay, so we'll do swords and reflexes. Yeah. I don't think we're gonna get enough weapons skill for any checks for that. Oh well, but it's uh, fine. No, it's uh, agility. Okay. You practice solo tennis, hitting a ball against the wall repeatedly in order to train your hand and your and your eye to react. You now play sports on the weekends. Ooh, how nice. You practice slow swings to improve your blade to precisely marked targets, building up your muscles and control. You wander downstairs to visit your father and talk about the latest events in the domain. You're moving with such enthusiasm that you don't realize your father isn't alone until it's too late to avoid him and his companion. Oh. You're too kind, Jocelyn. Countess Siren, not a member of your circles, she's just a bit more than a decade your senior, far too old to have ever been your friend, and yet not at all old as noble women go. She has two minor titles, no husband, and your father's arm in her grasp. <laughs> How dare she make a move on your father? You wanna try doing this? We're pretty good at flattery. Um... Yeah, let's do that. Good afternoon, Countess. Oh, Damn it. My what large breasts you have! Oh, wow. Putting them on display for any particular reason? Melody! Really, my dear, it's not polite to comment on a lady's attributes like that. But you are young, you will grow. Or angrier. Perhaps we'll be seeing more of each other in the future. When she's gone, you raise an eyebrow at your father. Don't give me that look, young lady. She's a nice woman, nothing more. She wants something more. And it's not going to happen anytime soon. You should be careful of how you deal with people like Sirian. You need the goodwill of your nobles as well as your commoners. There haven't been any problems so far. Hmm. No. No, hmm. babe. Babe. <laughs> We're gonna die soon. As queen, you must be aware of everything around you. Oh, isn't that what I have agents for? <laughs> yes, but you must give them direction. What is your greatest concern? Commoner uprising? Not at the moment. Foreign threats sound very... I think it's... Foreign threats? Yeah, I feel noble like... Noble plots, foreign threats, noble plots. Then again, there is a lot in our area that's... Mm-hmm. Noble plots, foreign threats. It's either those two. Um, I feel like it might be... Foreign threats, I think. Yeah. I need to know if any foreign powers are moving against me. As you wish. Okay. You get rid of depression, and yielding's okay, but... I don't think I like pressured. I don't think pressured is our thing. What's What does pressure help with? It was helping with, like, um, athletics, I think? No, not athletics. Uh, but we just did it. God damn it, I can't remember now. It's Flexibility? <laughs> or no? No, no, no. I know it do does Reflexes. faith. I know it's faith, but it was oh. something else that wasn't really that important. Oh, well. I remember. Um, mm, we can do sports now. That makes us angry. Why not? Do sports. We're already angry-ish. If we just get some loneliness in us, let's get uh, lonely and cheerful. Alright. So, we're angry. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think... We should go for naval strategy, because that will give us the military outfit. And then, I think, definitely keep going with swords. You think? Yeah. Yeah. Let's go ahead and do that. 
So swords and naval strategy. Is it? Yeah, naval strategy. So, you study different kinds of ships, their names, designs, and the number of crew needed for each. You study different kinds of ships, their speed, maneuverability, and standard complement of weapons. You drill with a partner attacking and blocking in carefully timed patterns. You practice moving with a blade, sidestepping, charging, and lunging. It's the time of year to decide any necessary adjustments to the royal budget. The majority of the money received is already spoken for, but there's always some room for... Yeah. <laughs> I don't know anything about budgets. I think if we raise taxes, our people are gonna get People pissed. are gonna be upset. Let's lower taxes. I think we have enough money. Let's lower the taxes a little. As you wish. Okay. Hey, I mean, I think we could do with actual lower taxes. Us well, in general. Yeah, but let's just keep going with lonely and cheerful, I think. So our new outfit is the uniform. Ah, we look great. We do look great. Um, so... Now that we have military up, thank god. Uh, for... I think we should do... Archery. And then we should start aiming towards getting 20 in archery and pull arms so we can keep going with the swords thing. Okay. Because I think that's a good idea. If you like. So let's do archery and let's just go ahead and do strategy and military. Okay, okay. I think it's good to get the outfits because if we figure out it is when good. if we figure out before a checkpoint, we put it on and yeah. it would just improve it. Boost us, yeah. Which is good, but But you can't get all of the outfits really in this game. You study the effects of different kinds of battle terrain for both offensive and defensive. You study the power of ranged weapons from arrows thrown fire from arrows to thrown fire and sand and how the threat of such attacks can shift the enemy's response. You learn how to twist and wax bowstring from a variety of fibers. Alright. You're requested to stand in judgment. A man has been convicted of the murder by strangling of his wife. He does not deny the act, but requests a pardon that he might be set free. <laughs> if you admit you killed your wife, why do you think I'm going to set you free? Save me, your majesty. It wasn't my fault. Demons made me do it. Everyone knows the power of magical beasties. They used me. They twisted my fingers into chains. My wife found me screaming. She tried to shake me in the chains wrapped around her. I need the priestesses to bless me and make me clean again. Yeah. Uh, I understand that there's magic in this game, but thinking... I, I know it's bad, but thinking if there's no actual magic then he's pretty much bad. Lying. Yeah. It's a Let's prison Let's imprison him. him, but not execute him. Yeah, I was gonna just say imprison. Whether there were demons or not, you still killed a woman, your wife. I won't forgive you for that. You'll be imprisoned for the rest of your life. He opens his mouth to argue with you further, but then his shoulders slump. Yes, your majesty. Hmm, so now we're really angry. Yeah, we didn't kill him. Pretty much good for him, in a way. Um. Hmm. Um. We've never been cheerful. Yeah, let's get cheerful up. Lonely and cheerful. Sure, let's just keep going with lonely and cheerful. Uh, as for classes, I am thinking we do um, archery in the morning and pole arms in the afternoon. Okay, yeah. Uh, but... Does the classes depend on like Weapons. the times? Archery. Yeah, they kind of do. Cause, um, I, I mean, it, it doesn't really depend on the times, but your skill will raise. And Depending as your skill time. raises, your bonus raises. So, yeah. That's strange. Yeah. So if you do something in the morning, your bonus will raise further up, and you might get a, high a higher bonus in the next thing that you do. Ah. You learn to cut, fletch, and tie arrows. You learn about different styles and sizes of bows, long, short, and recurve. I used to do archery. Yeah? Yeah, it was fun. I did a little bit technically. I mean, I learned how to. 
but I I didn't really do too much. Yeah, I didn't really that. delve into it, but it was fun. Yeah. You learn about a variety of long weapons from the quarterstaff to the spear to the halberd and glaive. You receive word that the murderer you condemn to prison has escaped. Oh, shit. A large explosion rocked the jail he was in, destroying the walls and setting many dangerous criminals free. You will it will now fall to the royal treasury to repair the damage, God but we lowered taxes. Wait, we should have killed him. We should have killed him. How did he escape? I don't know. It's weird. How did he get if it exploded, something exploded. I feel like it was an outside job. Yeah. Or he had only a cheerful Or guy. he had magic. I think he might have had magic. His own magic, which means he killed his wife not because he was possessed. He killed his wife just because he was magical. And yeah. Could. Yeah. Um. So let's do pole arms, uh -huh. and I think we should keep going with the strategy thing. Strategy. Yeah. Um. I was hoping to do a little bit more in Novian history. Yeah, but we don't have a history bonus right now either. Yeah. Hmm. And we have a really big bonus in military right now. You want to do a little bit more in strategy then? Let's do logistics though. No, let's do strategy for right now. All right, I think all right. strategy is really important. Um, I don't think there's too many logistics checks. And let's do swords. Uh, no, pole arms. Right, because we need to get that over 25. Yeah, pole arms and military strategy. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. You study the use of cavalry in battle as well as the costs and benefits of traveling with large animals. You study the effects of strong hierarchy on military organization and the ability of troops to respond to changing situations. Communication across an army can be difficult. Disrupted signals can lead to chaos. You practice walking while carrying a long weapon, getting the feel for its size and weight, and learning to maneuver without banging it into anything unintentionally. You learn the basic stances, grips, and positions for staff fighting, and how to block a blow without crushing your fingers. And we got a new outfit. Yay. You read to inform you that Fabian, the Earl of Titan and Duke Regent of Elath, has passed away. We won't get any... I don't think we're gonna get any of these checks. Yeah. With the control of Iloth in doubt, it falls to the crown to make the decisions. Oh! Young Lord Adair will not reach his 15th birthday for over two years. He requires a regent. His stepmother, Arise, the Duchess of Lila, has petitioned that the boy be left in her care. This would, however, leave her in personal control of two neighboring duchies, which is generally forbidden. Hmm. Hmm. I knew we should have gone that one. <laughs> no internal affairs either. The boy does have a living grandfather, the Earl of Ishtar. Or you might appoint an unrelated noble to act in his stead. The Earl of Ishtar has suggested another possibility. You and Adair are both young, not too far apart in age. He requests that we accept the boy as your future husband and keep him here at the castle. That is the boy that we danced with. Yeah. He's rich. Rich. Money. Yeah. Should we marry him? I think it's a pretty good choice. Well, if we don't, what, what, what do you think will happen? I think we could have some potential people who are trying to get his land. Right, so... Since he's so young and he can't really defend it. Right, right. He would just be put into the control of someone else who could possibly want his land or someone else who someone could want to kill for his land. Right, right, mm. I could send him to your uncle. Could... Which uncle was that? I forgot. I don't- he didn't say the name, he just said an unrelated noble. Mm. I think we should marry him. Alright. We need the money anyway, honestly. Yeah, we probably do just need we the fucked money. fucked up the money, so- Okay, I'll marry him! Oh god. At least that way I won't get stuck with an old man! <laughs> you can't actually marry him until he's old enough, but he will be brought here to live as your companion. Alright. 
Uh, we're almost cheerful. <laughs> I feel like if we knew a little bit more about the other people, mm -hmm. uh, one of them might have been okay to send him to. Maybe. Right. Or not. It, I mean, it could have all been bad. So. Want to get pressured? Or no? You wanted to be lonely. Yeah. Be willful. Well, I want to be cheerful. Uh... Trying to get to cheerful, but we need to l get afraid a little bit. I think we should keep going lonely and cheerful garden thing. Alright. Yeah. New outfit is the weapons outfit. Huh. Oh, that's kind of cute. Um, so. Mm. Let's get some foreign intelligence. Yeah. And swords. <laughs> yeah. Uh, weapon swords and foreign intelligence. Still surprised we're not dead yet. Really surprised. Week 23. Shit. Like, damn, we're pretty far. Pirates are once again operating out of Orcus, although they currently... They're currently sticking to the Northern Seas and no threat to Nova. However, if they turn to slave raids, the Bor Borealians may be quite vulnerable. Agents who have visited Bo Borealis report that all known Lumen shamans seem to have no magical powers at all and perform their ritual displays with show and trickery. Huh. You practice using your blade to disarm opponents or shove them backwards. You spar with a partner, trading blows while looking for openings to tag each other. There's a woman here to see you. She's a mu just musician and wishes crown patronage, which means money. <laughs> your Royal Highness, if you accept me as a member of your court, I will immortalize you in word and song. I have dabbled in music, musical styles from many countries, and can entertain your guests and lighten your evenings. Ooh, intrigue success. Musicians are often used as secret agents and messengers that can be useful and dangerous. The musician sings a little ditty to demonstrate her skills with the lute. It's hmm. actually pretty good. I, I feel like we should reject her. Because musicians are used... Yeah. Yeah, I think so. I mean, that's all we have at this moment to, that Thank we you, know. we're not interested. <laughs> yeah, that's the only thing we know at this point. Mm-hmm. That it could be a threat, so... Mm-hmm. Uh, is there any way to get afraid without getting lonely? We can get depressed, but would... Uh... To just get pressured. Oh, well, that will raise angry and lonely. Hmm. Minus one lonely and plus angry. Yeah, but we don't want angry. We want. I want to be cheerful, damn it. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Okay. There's minus angry. There's plus pressured, which is good. So, I think we do lonely and cheerful. Full. And then lonely and afraid. And then pressured? Yeah. Like those are our next three ones? Yeah. Then we'll be cheerful, I think. Okay. So lonely and cheerful. I I'm still going with swords. Alright. I think that's a good thing to do. Um Internal affairs? Let's go for internal affairs. Yeah. Oh, we don't know much about history, though. Huh. Let's do internal affairs this turn and see what next turn's bonuses will be. Okay. And swords. Mm hmm. 
The Duke of Marie has paid suit to the Duchess of Ursel to no avail. The Duchess's brother is opposed, and he will, as he will inherit if she dies childless. Your agents suspect the Duchess of Ursel is actually more interested in the Duchess of Hillis. Neither have has ever been linked to a man. The Countess of Leek of uh, the Countess Countess Leek of Dis married. The old Duke of Sudbury, who was more than twice her age, then divorced him as soon as she'd borne him with an heir in order to be free to marry another. It was considered shockingly rude by the general nobility, <sighs> but the old Duke apparently had no objection. Hmm. He just wanted the heir. Yeah, it seems like it. Other swords are at 87, that's pretty good. Yay. Uh, you, may, you begin to work with a metal blade, getting the feel for its weight and edge as well as learning how to care for it. You practice drawing your blade and striking it at short notice from a variety of positions. How is Adair settling into life in the castle? I found him in the garden, trying to catch frogs. I huh. think he's still afraid of me. Oh good, we're pressured. I think you'll work things out. That's good! Yeah. That means if we just do the lonely and afraid that we were going to do, we'll be cheerful. Okay. Nice. Yay. Yay, we're cheerful. Okay. Conversation and athletics. Athletics is good. Penalty to weapons, intrigue, and military. But not to history. Hmm. Um, how about we get some more public speaking? Alright. And yeah, get a little right. bit of Novan history. Because we need some history. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, public speaking? You think? Yeah, I feel like if we don't... We're gonna make some speeches eventually and... Yeah, if we don't calm someone down or something like that in front of crowds or something yeah, yeah, might yeah. happen. Yeah. Nova's history involves an endless stew of names and dates. It, even as small as it's become, there are ten dukedoms. No, eleven now, plus the royal line. You hope no one expects you to memorize every lineage. You borrow the menu for an upcoming banquet and practice delivering it as a dramatic speech to an audience of confused chambermaids. <laughs> you learn about debate techniques and practice them by trying to convince a castle gardener why a new fountain would be a good idea. Your teacher assigns you to create and memorize a short speech of your own. Huh. Mm-hmm. 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 <sighs> yep. Still, if they send a fleet across the ocean, Nova might be in danger. At the very least, shipping would be disrupted. <laughs> Takes time to assemble worthy vessels. The downside is they won't come cheap. Build more warships. To prepare us? For war. Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. Prepare us, at least. Well, uh, in that case... Yeah. Um... I think we want to be angry again. Yeah, let's, let's try and get angry again. Cool. Okay. So we're angry again, let's get back to that military stuff. We should do naval now. Yeah, we should really do naval now. Do you want to switch your uh, costume? Oh yeah, that's a good idea. Boost military. Okay, um, let's just, should we just do naval, the whole thing? Do you want to do- Naval and strategy? I was thinking of the other one, logistics. Logistics? Naval, naval and logistics. Uh, naval strategy and logistics. Yeah. Okay, let's do logistics in the morning and naval strategy at night. Mm -hmm. Logistics and naval strategy. Okay, let's do this. Let's do this. Preparing for war. You learn about the support costs created by support. Uh, the more equipment you have and the more people and animals are needed to move them. And then those people and animals also need to be fed and equipped. You learn about the difficulty of obtaining new supplies from the field. Enemy civilians may hide or destroy supplies rather than let them fall into your hands. And friendly civilians may not stay friendly if robbed. Mm-hmm. 
you learn about the requirements for all civilized sailors to re rescue c the crew of a sinking ship, even an enemy. You learn about the challenges of naval warfare posed by unpredictable weather, as well as the dangers of sailing too close to an unknown coastline. You learn about the ships, uh, the use of ships in transporting ground soldiers between locations. Is this the war? Uh, Tellerist, the Duke of Sedna, has instituted high tariffs and trade restrictions to the Elarth border. Business is disrupted and there are growing shortages of supplies. Should we send aid? Do you think that's wise? What do you think? I think it'll keep them on our side, at least. I right? think it would, but... We wouldn't be open to attack, would we? I don't know. I don't think so. I don't think we send anyone important to send aid. Then just send a emergency. Because it's, it's raising taxes. I think emergency aid is more like... But we already lo lowered the taxes at one point. No, their taxes. Those aren't our taxes. Oh. Yeah, someone else raised taxes. And there's... Supply issues. Let's send emergency aid. Yeah. Then the royal treasurer will pay to keep the people fed. Wow, we spend so much money. We're like we're like America up in here. Yeah. <laughs> um. Um. How about we attend court, or should we talk to Adair? What does he gain for us? I have no idea. It says talk question about? marks. At this point, it's fine. Sure, let's talk to Adair. Hi, Adair! Hi, Elodie. How are you doing? Okay, I guess. It's really quiet here. How come you don't have any more brothers or sisters? I don't know. Mama Reese says it's a noble's duty to have a big family. Well, not everyone agrees with her. Sorry. <laughs> Should I kiss you now? What? what? You can if you want. I mean... I don't think he will. We're gonna get married. He's a kid. Yeah. But we're also a kid. He's That's two years true. younger. Oh. Yeah. You can if you want, I guess. I mean, you can if you want to. The result is damp. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. This must be even more strange for him than it is for you. He lost a parent, too, and now everyone else is making decisions about his life, including you. If you'd like, you can come to some of my classes, or meet with the tutors that I'm not using that week. I mean, it's important for you to learn too, right? You're going to be a duke and a king consort, like my father. Okay. Aw, oh, he seems happier. Well, that's good. Yeah. We need him on our side. Um... I think we should just keep going with military. I think we need military I think right our now. history needs to be up, just a little bit. I know, but I- A world history. I think a war is coming. Alright. Just keep on that suit then. Might help. You study how to determine when to jettison or destroy excess goods for speed and how to avoid overreaching. You learn how to carry enemy war preparations based on the movement of goods within their lands. Armies do not spring up full formed overnight. You study the benefits of looting as a troop motivator versus the negative effect on civilian populations. You study the coast, time, and materials required to construct new ships. You study blockades, both setting them and breaking them. You study the effect of cannons against coastal installations such as enemy docks and seaside villages. My lady, there are letters for you. Another letter from Bryony. Why does she keep writing me? We were never even friends. She says she's bored and lonely and she's looking forward to seeing me at Gwen Gwenelle's birthday party. That's right, Gwenelle is about to turn 15. She'll be Duchess of Sudbury for real now. This other letter must be my invitation to her birthday celebration next week. Gwenelle and I were friends in school, and this will be a big event, but it's also a long way to travel. A lot of things can happen on the road. Um... What do you think? Should we go? What do you think? Do you think it's safe? I don't know. Do we have enough for... We have swords, but we don't have... 
the f uh, a lot of medicine. Stuff? Well, no, we don't have reflexes. Reflex is important whilst you're fighting. We don't have fighting. reflexes. That's true. Should we not go? Should we just send our regards? Hey, we can be all crazy with it. We could try. I mean, this could really be it. All right. <laughs> well, we'll we'll decide next time, folks. And if we decide to go on this little journey and it's the death of us, then, um, well, so be it. That's it. Yeah. So, see you next time, guys. Bye.